Hello, my beading friends. This is RB Jewels coming to you from STO Handmade Jewelry and Craft Corner. First of all, I want to say uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of you um, who celebrate Thanksgiving. I hope you have a joyous time with you and your family. And if you choose to spend it alone, I hope, I hope you have a wonderful time doing whatever it is that you want to do um, and how you utilize your time. So today's title says to work through your fears. And I know you see beads here because these beads right here uh, took me somewhere for a long time. One, one of these beads just drove me absolutely bananas for a long time and we're going to go through each of these beads and then I'm going to show you the, pe the pieces that over time I didn't start right away um, you know uh, mastering these beads because um, I just didn't um, generally when I see beautiful beads that I like whether I know how to use them or not especially if the colors are beautiful, I will get them anyway. And sometimes in my mind, I'm like, you know, well, I'll figure it out and figure out a design. And, you know, the beads just does not, you know, click with my um, art jewelry design aesthetic. And then I'm sitting there looking crazy trying to figure out how to use the beads. And then <clears throat> I will go on this journey of trying to figure out how to use it, um, if I can use the bead by itself, or if I add a bead, add another bead to it. And you know, that sometimes the piece just turns into an utter disaster. It looks an absolute mess. And I'll take it apart and I'll try it again. And sometimes I feel defeated by the beads and I'll just set them aside until I feel like I want to try again. So the beads that I'm going to show you today, these are um, uh Excuse my mind when I'm mentally overwhelmed it's hard for me to say the beads right out and um, I think I have my notes close by so I'm gonna have to use my notes because I don't remember um, what they are right offhand so Rivoli's. So Rivoli's. I have the Rivoli Rivoli's, and then I have the Crescent bead, um, and then I have Super Duo beads. Okay, we're gonna talk about each one, and then I'm gonna show you pieces, and some of the pieces have both bead designs in them. Yeah. Some of them have both of them in there. So, we're going to set this aside and I'm going to pull these out. And um, you will see these again because I'm starting a series of showing you how to take basic beads and to build off of them to start to work on a piece. So, we're going to set these here. These are, these, this is the actual Rivoli here. This one, this one, they're all Rivoli's, but these are actually Rivoli's with no holes in them. And you bead around them. And these are Rivoli beads, but as you can see, these have holes in it. But I don't let that get in my way. So, when I first came across these beautiful beads right here, um, it was super difficult and to just fathom how do you know how big it should be and how many beads would you use to go around the bead before you do 
circular peyote because that's what that is. It's circular peyote around the bead. And so I tried many times and got frustrated because when the bead, when, when you do the circular peyote around the bead and it looks wonky and kind of out of shape and it just doesn't look like it's going to fit um, uniformly. If you use like a, um, a Toho seed bead, a check glass seed bead, any other seed bead, it will, you can do it, but it will look, the uniformity will look a little off. Okay. But when you use Delica beads, which is like a very precise cut, little small cylinder bead, and it fits like a glove as you um, proceed to create the um, bezel around the Rivoli bead. And you have to know how many beads will go around and fit, and it is trial and error, or they do have cheat sheets online. And once you do that and understand what size your Rivoli is, and you use, your cheat, you use the cheat sheet, um, to find out how many beads go around, it's easier to do that. And for me, at first, even with the cheat sheet, it was kind of difficult for me to understand how to do it. So I do have one video that shows you actually how to do a uh, beaded bezel uh, crystal rivoli uh, crystal. So... Um, with time, and I mean with a lot of time, because for me, everybody's different, everybody learns different, everybody picks up things differently. It took me a long time for me to just grasp it. And once I did, it's like I was just making Rivoli's just to be making them. And so, um, it took me some time to master it, and I did. So... Here is one of the pieces right here. And as you can see, these are Swarovski Crystal Rivoli beads. And as you can see, these uh, purple beads are delicate. And see how they sit really even around the bead and they hug the bead. And then you have the 15 nose which I'm going to show you again uh, as a part of the series that I'm getting ready to work on, which starts this Sunday, how to do it with a uh, Delica bead and how it hugs the Rivoli front and back. And that's going to be a part of the series that we're going to use in up the uh, following steps to show you how to build a piece. Okay. So, um, once I master, as you can see, I have also shown another piece that's a sun piece that I've shown you that has rivulets all around the whole entire piece. Yeah, uh, okay. So, um, just, um, get ready for the series on, uh, Sunday. And I'm going to show you how to do the Rivoli's. Um, to do the Rivoli's um, to create the piece like it is on this one. So, when you come across beads and they may scare you, yes, you may actually feel intimidated in the beginning. But what's going to help you to not feel intimidated is to continue to practice Practice makes you better. That is my mantra. Practice definitely makes you better. So I'm showing you these beads that I had to work through my beading fears as I, um, as I, um, you know, that could sit right there. I have, you know, how I work through my beating fears so the next one is a is the super duo so as you can see please excuse me these beads have 
two holes and you hear my daughter's dog in the background um when she's left alone for a little while she's just such a spoiled little sweet baby she's a big baby uh coco so you hear her in the background <laughs> so um these uh two hole beads here um i was like okay what in the world can i do with these beads right here and i have saw seen some gorgeous gorgeous designs and my mind just did not wrap around what i was seeing it didn't it absolutely did not so this was another bead that just took me some some time to um work through it took me some time to work through excuse the background noise my young adults are moving around and moving about um they home for the holidays so they just moving around doing their thing so we're going to keep going and um um once i i'm still mastering this speed but i've gotten a lot better practice definitely makes you better so i'm going to show you two pieces well i'm going to show you another piece because one piece has the next bead that i'm showing you plus the super duo so i'm going to show you what the piece looks like with the super duo bead so this pendant necklace here the the light blue beads are the super duo beads these are super duos and they are sewed on both sides in both holes in the beads and you definitely have to know how to measure the beads and this is one of my pieces i did because i sometimes like to stack my beads so this is one of my smaller stacking bead projects because there's quite a few beads in this piece so um the rivalies are in between all the other stack beads so um this is how i started using it just simply working with how can I use the bead in my, you know, art jewelry. So once I mastered this particular design, you know, um, I use it a lot and have used it a lot in this piece right here. So, um, that's the piece that I actually, you know, got started using the Rivlies with. Now the next piece, which I'm going to show you here are the, the next bead that, um, that I'm getting ready to show you. Is These, this, these are crescent. This is the crescent bead, and um, this is an eight by three millimeter crescent bead. Now, looking at them like this, I couldn't figure out for the life of me how in the world I'm going to use this. Looks very intimidating, and I actually was challenged to use this bead and I had never used this bead before and I set it aside because this bead shape actually scared me. It may sound crazy but it did. I had never seen this bead shape before and I'm like okay what am I supposed to do with it? And I set it aside for a nun again for a long time until I let how to try to experiment to make a piece. So in doing so, the the piece that I'm going to show you is this is the first time I ever used it, and that was to make these earrings right here. So in this piece, we see the super duos 
and you can see the the two pieces it is sandwiched between this bead you have the a bead that's sandwiched between these two beads where I created it if you can see it creating a focal bead using these two beads together so that was the way because I do bead embroidery this was the way that I actually figured out how to use this bead and so this is what I did this is exactly how I used it so um, this is this full set of earrings right here and actually let me tell you about these earrings because um, I don't know if you all know that making earrings is a challenge for me. And so one weekend, um, some of you may be believers and some not, but I'm not going to deny that I believe in God, period. And he shared with me to make these earrings and gave me the full design for these earrings and the, the colors and everything items that I already had so and I made these earrings right here so these are Christmas earrings I don't have a shop yet but they are available for purchase you can reach out to me via my DMs on STO Handmade Craft Jewelry on my Instagram so and in the last video I made these earrings for me they are winter colors I have stepped completely out of my comfort zone in making these earrings with the silver the pink and the uh, light periwinkle colors so I made these earrings for me and these two have the super duos and the crescent bead uh, on the inside let me see if I can put these together like this so that's these earrings here that's that's both of them so with practice and making mistakes and making ugly jewelry yes i said it <laughs> making ugly jewelry and keep on until you find how your pieces should look your jewelry can turn on just like this and i mean practice now in terms of sewing i've been sewing since i was I want to say in junior high school when they used to have home at class and sewing class so now you know I'm telling my age because some schools don't have things like that anymore so that's how long I had been sewing um, maybe a little bit longer now I want to say since I was about 11 or 12 because I used to make my uh, my own Barbie dolls clothes in addition in addition to the ones I would buy now I make jewelry for my dolls <laughs> And if you ever want to see any pictures of them, let me know. I will show you pictures of any of them in my community corner so that you can see that I do make actual jewelry for my Barbies. So, but, um, so, you know, quite a few years of sewing and, you know, practice over the years, let all of my pieces turn like this including making my own artful cabochons, which that's these, and my own artful resin pieces using Rivoli's, Super Duos, and Crescent Beads. That's just three major beads that I used in the piece. And with practice, you can do the same exact thing. I mean the same exact thing. You can do that. So, um, that's all I have for you today and get ready because, um, a series is coming, um, on, uh, starting on Sundays, Sundays, it will be Sundays, 
at 6 p.m. every Sunday. Um, as long as this series is going in, I do have other things planned after this series. And um, so just, you know, let's ride this journey together, learn together, and use jewelry as a, um, a product of healing. You know, if it's healing for you or growing the business or just wanting to learn to add a new skill to your skill set, whatever the reason is why you want to create art jewelry, let it be that for you here in our community. Um, I'm just here to share with you what the Most High God through Christ has blessed me to learn because the skills that I have is not just for me, it's for you also. So again, um, I wish you all happy Thanksgiving. And, and until next time, happy beating.